In the not too distant future, we will all be wearing biosensing devices that will observe, measure and record our activities, movements, experiences, vital signs, health and well-being. GPS sensors already know where we are and where we've been. Accelerometers in our mobile devices can tell our gait and infer our mood, whether we're agitated or relaxed, active or resting. Wearable devices track personal metrics like the number of steps we've taken, our heart rate, respiratory rate, skin conductance, blood pressure. All of these technologies that help to track our physical health already exists and many of us are already using them on a regular basis. Wearable technology promises to transform the way we experience the world, empower us to better understand ourselves, and encourage positive behavioral shifts. But a missing element up until now are devices that help to track and monitor our cognitive behavioral and mental well-being. And this is what I have been working on for almost a decade. The brain is our most vital organ. It supports everyday things we do, including our ability to think, learn, imagine, create, reason, problem solve, plan and decide. Our brain is an amazing machine that continually rewires and reprograms itself according to how we use it. As we go through life, our brain undergoes extraordinary development. It is the most adaptable organ in our body. It's capable of changing both positively and negatively by our thoughts, actions and experiences. Our brain's ability to adapt or neuroplasticity means that we have the power to change and redesign our brain to optimize and take advantage of our brain's potential. And yet, despite this marvel and complexity of the human brain, scientists have limited capacity to watch it at work outside the lab. For the most part, we only study brains when there is something wrong with them. We are working on pushing the boundaries of the latest in science and technology to enable portable electroencephalogram systems like these that provide useful coverage of key sites around the cerebral cortex to open a new window on the complex functioning of our brain. And unlike conventional EEG systems, these devices don't require any specialist knowledge from the wearer. It uses a special hydrophilic polymer sensor in the sense that it likes to attract water in the air and the environment around it. It's wireless, giving the user the freedom to move around. And compared to conventional EEG systems, is around a hundred times more affordable. And so with that, I'd like to now introduce you to my brain in real time. Switch on. Okay. <laughs> so this device that I'm wearing is picking up my brain activity and transmitting it directly to this computer right now. And <laughs> and of course, it can also stream and transmit this data to a mobile device or tablet. But what you're actually looking at, if you can see the brain, is that what you're seeing is the localized functional brain areas that are activated right now as I'm standing here speaking, the frontal part of my brain, my frontal lobes, is responsible for executive functions, conscious movements, thoughts, attention, planning and deciding. 
The side of my brain, my temporal lobes, is responsible for auditory and hearing, memory. And the back of my brain, the parietal and occipital lobes, are responsible for sensory integration and visual processing. So as I'm speaking and as you see my brain light up, you can associate those with the functional areas that are being used right now. And being able to understand the brain's plasticity can help us to enhance mental performance in many different ways. For example, many of us try to study but find that we are not particularly effective because we get bored or distracted too easily. In fact, a key feature of effective performance is learning to focus on the task and excluding or minimizing the impact of distractions. Firstly, you need to optimize your environment so you can better understand what are the best times of the day, what sort of lighting conditions, what kind of background music should you play, how often you break for coffee. Then you need to optimize yourself. Now this is a little harder because you need someone or something to provide you with information on what you are doing wrong and what you are doing right. Fortunately, it's now possible to measure your level of focus objectively while you work. You can characterize any learning session or any other activity where you wish to optimize your performance, learning the best times of the day, the optimal lighting conditions, what kind of musical accompaniment, even what kind of comfort foods and break patterns. All of that is simply a matter of gathering some statistics on different kinds of factors. Insight can help you to see objectively how well you can study and focus early in the morning compared to mid-afternoon or late at night. What's the difference between classical music, heavy metal, pop, or complete silence by providing statistical summaries in an easily digestible form? If we can switch back to my slides, please. The opportunities for self-monitoring extend beyond improving your focus. How about learning to relax or avoid stress, reduce anxiety and frustration? All of these things are actually now possible. Now we really need to switch back to my slides, please. Earth calling. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you. We can also measure the level of attention during critical tasks such as while driving a car, where allowing yourself to become distracted can actually be fatal. Now, this same capability can be applied to automate the presentation of teaching materials to optimize the learning rate and reward continued attention and focus. EEG-based applications for gamified learning, even for children with ADHD, have been tested and researched and are available using this brainware. What's really amazing is that this technology can also be used to aid in the rehabilitation of patients, as we'll see in this next video. One of the most humbling aspects is when you see someone adopt your technology in a way that transforms their lives. When Cora was 17, she had an accident, her and her sister driving home, went off the road and hit a tree. I want you to think about like pushing the box upward. has given her another avenue for recreation, for communication. It touches you in a way that makes all of the times when you think this is too hard, you want to give up, it makes it all really, really worthwhile. What has it been like to see these changes in your daughter for, for you? I'm going to make her cry. <laughs> it's made me very happy to see if there is an avenue that we can get more of her back.
these are just a few of the thousands of initiatives that we support using our technology every day. Ultimately, this technology allows us to study brains under conditions and stimuli as varied as those we encounter in everyday life, because the brain wear can be worn while doing everyday activities. We believe that democratization of brain measurement is crucial if we are to make significant advances in understanding the human brain. By making brain measurement and imaging easier and yet at increasingly higher resolutions, and by offering a platform for more affordable and open participation, we can open up an opportunity to mobilize the world's population to collaborate on and contribute to large global projects. EEG data can now be collected anywhere, transmitted over mobile phone networks and the internet, and shared with researchers to advance understanding of the brain and even potentially find early biomarkers for neurological impairments. Up until recently, there has not been any concerted effort to accumulate a big data set of EEG recordings from well individuals, which is really a fundamental part of any background study into abnormalities. No way to deploy neuroscience experiments or neurological diagnostic tests to remote locations, and no way to analyze massive online data sets of EEG recordings. Did you know that there are more than two billion people worldwide suffering from a brain-related illness? This is the ultimate challenge that we hope to address. We are passionate about and committed to play our part in reimagining how, where, and why the human brain is observed. We hope to empower individuals to better understand and optimize their own brain and accelerate brain research at a scale and pace that was previously unimaginable. I believe the future ahead is bright and that the best way to predict this future is to invent it. Thank you.